to receive a 80.6 billion shilling loan from the World Bank. Central Bank of Kenya Governor Patrick Njoroge says the country will also receive 44.1 billion shillings of the 254 billion shillings loan from the International Monetary Fund IMF. Petronila Gordon reports. According to the Central Bank Governor Patrick Njoroge, the country will receive an 80 billion loan from the World Bank and an additional 410 million from the International Monetary Fund IMF. CBK says the country is seeking to extend an extension on debt repayment from external lenders. Our, our, our staff in uh, Central Bank and indeed the National, uh, national Treasury um, have been quite diligent in terms of uh, the uh, run in the domestic borrowing program. And that, I think, is, has been, as I said last time, has been a major uh, victory uh, for both institutions and indeed for the country because there has been a stable um, sort of development there in terms of lengthening of the maturity of uh, the government borrowing, average maturity, average time to maturity. There's also been... Um, a sort of clarity about the amount of borrowing and uh, uh, in a predictable fashion. Meanwhile, Treasury Cabinet Secretary Okur Yatani has met stakeholders in various sectors of the economy to discuss equalization of funds and regulations that steer project implementation management. Yatani says there should be a proper guideline on visibility studies, budgeting and monitoring of projects before their implementation to avoid surpassing the projected costs we were able to come to an understanding of an hybrid system that uh, all of us are going to have a stake in as far as planning and budgeting and identification of the various uh, projects because uh, the equalization uh, fund places responsibility on implementation on both the national government and the uh, county government. The reason why we came up with the project uh, implementation management is to give an overview and, and, and you know a comprehensive roadmap from project conceptualization to the actual project completion to manage cost to make sure that you know it, it adheres to the objective of government to put all the responsibility in the hands of the accounting officers to expeditiously uh, implement projects so that we avoid the issues of uh, stalled projects Yatani further stated that the government was in the process of acquiring new technology equipment to enhance the functionality of the newly launched Lamu port, as well as introduce a livestock disease free zone to enable Lamu County become a depot for livestock and processed meat among other critical areas of business and transshipments. Patronila Goren for TV47.